Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I have a bag full of goodness from Honeybee Stamps. Didn't I just do a Honeybee Stamps haul? Yeah, from their new release. Now I went in and perused around their clearance and retiring, which was already reduced, plus the additional 20% that they had during the 4th of July weekend and after pay. Oh, you know, I took advantage of it. So let's take a look. Um, I know these items are while supplies last and I will link everything below. Let's take a look. Let's get started. Okay, crafters. So I had to take advantage of that extra 20 off already what was marked down at Honey Bee Stamps. I know I had shown you guys some stuff and said, you know, you should check this out. And I had also shown you some items from their new release. And then I was just like, I went in there and I was looking around and next thing I know, I'm checking out. <laughs> I'm like, 20%, like, yay! <laughs> so, I use Afterpay, as always. And I did get another freebie. So yes, I did hit 100, I know, I know, I know, I know. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> Alrighty. Also, why I did hit that number actually, before I get into, because when I went to the new release page, when I did the purchase for the new release, the this wasn't in stock yet. When I went in for the clearance and retiring event, this was in stock. The ink stand. Oh, love. This has been on my wish list for a very long time too, but it is not cheap. That helped me to reach the 100. So this now is, uh, it's called the ink stand, and let me show you what it is. When you are doing ink blending and such, if you don't want your inks moving all over the place and you want to keep it controlled, there is my speckled egg, then I put the cover here, and you can line up a bunch of these, so you can buy four of these, but these are like $14.99 a piece. It, Feels like it's made from either wood, I believe it's wood, yeah, I think it's wood, or MDF, but the store is called the Ink Shop. Now, let me see if the ink transferred. Okay, the ink didn't transfer here. And what you do is you line up a bunch, right? This is for, like, specially made three by three for Distress Oxide and Distress Ink, full side pads. This now is made for this type of ink pad, any, and a lot of ink pads are this size. This is a Hero Arts, my, um... Ink on three ink pads would fit in here. Simon Says inks would fit in here. Law and Fawn inks full size would fit in here. I have a few LDRS creative inks. I know I don't use them, but they would fit in here. And you do the same thing. So you put the ink in here and then you put the top there. And what I discovered when I saw this little stripe on the side, I was like, what's that? Yes. So now here you are ink blending and See, it doesn't wiggle. So you could rub your blending brush here and work on the project, go back and forth for blending, and you customize it how you want. So if you know you only use dye inks, stick with this. Look at that. Oh, oh that's nice, and it really, it really is nice. So I had, to, I had to get it. I had to get one of each just to see. And then with the Afterpay, yeah. But I'm so glad that they carried it because the only other place that I saw it at and by the time I was ready to get it, it was already sold out, was um, Simon Says. At least on Honeybee, I get the, you know, I can spread out the payments. So I wanted to get maybe another one of the Distress Oxide. I just wanted to see it in person. I've seen it on a few people's videos. And there is a small one, like with four, for the little mini Distress Inks. Distress, um, yeah, the little ink cubes. And that could fit all of this type of stuff. So with the four, I could use this for, you know, ink blending with stencils and stuff. This is my Pink for Studio ink. Same principle as this. It'll have the, you, you drop the bottom here and then the top, but it's like four little cubes. That's great for when you're doing this type of ink blending, where you're layering ink blending and you don't want to have your little cubes all over the place. That Pink Fresh cube actually, to be honest with you, why I may get it. See the bottom? There's no name on it. So if I put the top here 
and put the ink here, put this one there and here. I can e easily mix them up. With this system, everything stays together. So there's no mixing up. With here, I can see the colors. With this too, I can see the color. But if the bottom doesn't match the top, oh, you can definitely mix up your inks. So that's, this was a nice surprise in the store. Love, 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 love. And I love that it's magnetized. So I guess you could stack a whole bunch if you want, like three or four for ink blending. Really, really, really nice. I am so glad that Honey Bee decided to carry it. But now let's get into after that sidebar. So let's now get into all my discounted stuff that I got. A bushel and a peck. This is so cute. I have looked at this from ooh, long time. Sometime early last year. <laughs> and just never ever did it. Once it got marked down with that extra 20, oh, it became super attractive then. This one, great for fall. Look at that basket. And even with the dye, it was really nice price. Look at these. If you're a teacher or you want to make something for teachers, you don't even have to do the fall part. You could just do the apples by itself. Um, I love you, a bushel and a peck, and a hug around the neck. Oh, that's cute. This is great for fall, for anything, really. Cute, cute, cute. Flowers in that. Um, layering pumpkin was like pretty much nothing, <laughs> but super cute. And it was on sale with the extra 20. Cute, cute, cute. And it's really small. Let me tell you how small. One and a half by one. Now, would these things, this is while supplies last. That's another reason why I decided to go for it because I said, you know, next thing, I've always had this on my wish list in the store. I go back, it's not there anymore, but now it's additional 20, so I kind of wait it out. Let me do a measurement on this um, bucket or basket. Three and three quarter by three. So this could fit on a horizontal slim line if you wanted, or a two, five by seven, that type of card. This, I had this in my cart when it was on clearance at scrapbook.com. And I was like, ah, oh, it said in stock, they'll have a lot. Sold out, never ever got it. So <laughs> I, I should have gotten it when I saw it, but I didn't from the scrapbook.com clearance. But now I got it from Honeybee in their clearance with the extra 20, yay. So this one is called Cheering For You. Does it say it on the front? Yes, Cheering For You. Now this is perfect for my daughter. My daughter is into her sports. She does swimming, paddleboard, bowling. Let's see, what other sports? Tennis. Oh, it just goes on and on. My son, no. But my daughter, yes. My son is computers. The daughter, she just loves. Her thing, though, her main thing is swimming. So when I saw this, this was everything that I could do for her. Whether I use this in a mini album or not. How would I use this in a mini album? When I cut this out, it then becomes a sticker and a title for every page. Super, super cute. I'm cheering for you, Ra. I'll always be your cheerleader. Your number one, come on, is a slam dunk, is a home run. I'm your biggest fan. Love this. I hope they still have it if you're liking it too. Cheering for you, super cute. I'm surprised it even made it to clearance, but really, really nice. And even just for cards, just to say, you know, your friend, switch jobs or something and you want to say here i'm cheering for you you're number one so proud of you anything this set i have the other set to this one and i was just like ah get one that's it done then i had this on my wish list at honeybee but i just did not want to get it at that price but then when they knocked it down into clearance and then they knocked it down further with that 20 it became <laughs> Super duper duper cute. And now that I see it in person, I'm like, oh, this is a full set. Super, super cute. So here we have the coffee break. And I have a new die that's close to like the blanket slim line, but in a square. That would be perfect for this. And there's a little donut. Look at that. Frappuccino type thing. The, the coffee cup. And I love when they have coffee cups with the handle cut out. You know, I don't like to see the white. I prefer having the whole thing on the inside cut out, but 
Isn't this cute? And this would be super easy to color, even watercolor. Super, super cute. Let me give you a quick measurement. Two and a quarter by one and a half. And all these things are while supplies last because they are clearancing them out and they are retiring them. I did get this, the Little Ladies. It's a ladybug set. I did not get the matching die because the ladybug, you know, I saw it and I thought it didn't look as cute as it does now in person. <laughs> Probably should have gotten the matching die set, but I really wanted these faces for other stuff like gingerbread and all that type of thing. I love the expression on the faces and the eyelashes and such. That's what I really bought the set for. But now that I'm seeing it in person, I'm like, it's not that bad at all. Cute, cute, cute little ladies. Stretch right there. Cute, 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 cute. So I guess I'll be fussy cutting on, on curves. You know how I feel about that. Then now, Pinky the Pig. This was another one that I have, I know what, there was a time that I have gone through every single item in the Honey Bee stamp store, which is a lot. And I saw this and I just was like, pass it, like, nah. But when it was on clearance, and then with the extra 20 and I looked at it, I was like, wait a second. Look at what, look at all the goodies that he's holding. Then I had that pig that I had colored from the Brilliant House tour. <laughs> and then the dye cuts out. I got the matching dye, Pinky the Pig, his hands, so he could be holding all this stuff. And he could also be wearing wings and all this. And then I realized all of this can translate to everything else. And the size is what makes me know that I can translate it to everything else. Yeah. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Pinky the Pig. Love it. Little coffee cup, little donut. Little fan, little candy, slice of pizza, cupcake, cute. And then here we have something for him to, you know, he's standing in that if you want to have it with the little water. That's great for scene building too. And it looks like he has glasses or goggles. Cute. But this, this also made me get the dye. Once, once I saw that he could be holding stuff, I was like, yep. Then at a really low price point, there was a matching pinky paper piecing this is actually a little is it bigger no he's about the same size so i could paper piece him too this had it wasn't bad at all and then with the extra 20 it was like adding it on for free so i went ahead and got the pinky paper piecing cute 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 on the farm with my mft stamps barn yeah i also got this snow buddies you know, I looked at it, I put it away, then I went back, and then I put it away, then I had, then I put it in a cart, and I was like, mm, it is cute. I love the bunnies, I love the little snowman, I looked at the examples, and then all the accessories. These accessories are killing me. I just love them. And then the little scarf, it's so many pieces, because sometimes when I'm looking at a stamp set, and it's a bad habit of mine, I'm just only looking here, or here. I don't look at all the little bits, but now I was... You know, with the attractive price, I started looking at the bits and I'm like, wait a second, this thing can stretch far options. And then here, that's the coordinating die, not a bad price point either. Snow Buddies, cute. It was really cute. I'm surprised it even made it to clearance, especially with the Christmas in July. Next up, almost done. Jingle all the way. Now I have shown you another Christmas word set that I had that, that was not on sale, but this was nice, beautiful. And I love it for this. I love it, all the examples with the snow falling. That's so me. I have a die like this actually from, if it's not poppy stamps, then it's memory box. I use it all the time. I love this look of having it, having the card with this falling. Love it. This Somebody did an example on their website where they had heat emboss it. Super duper 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 cute. So this looks like it heat embossed well. Clean. Dashing through the snow. Really, really nice. And I love the let it snow and the jingle all the way. At full price, I was like, mm, do I need it? No, but when it marked down, marked down, and then add the additional 20, oh, it became, <laughs> it's like two for the price of one at that point. Stamp and die for the price of one. Uh, lastly, I got this, the rocket ship card base. So this is a full A2 set. 
I believe it said it was A2. Yep, four and a quarter. It is five and a half. So this is an A2 card. It fills up a whole card. But I do have some little space images from MFT stamps. I believe it's a birdie brown thing with the astronauts. And when I saw this, I passed it. And then I thought, wouldn't that be cute with the birdie brown thing? And then, so the images from birdie brown are about this tall. So even though I'm using honeybee stamps, I'm already pairing it off with my favorite things because I got that on super clearance too. Mm -hmm. At my favorite things before they price hike. But this is cute. So this one, rocket ship card base. You could cut this out, leave that part of the top, do a kind of like a partial die cutting thing and make the card base the rocket ship. And there are examples of to show you how to put this together, which I would definitely be looking at because I thought it would have been here on the back, but hey. And then I got another one of these little girls. I decided that when I reach a big milestone in terms of subscribers, I'm gonna, you know, put together a whole bunch of the things and have a giveaway. Alrighty crafters, so check out Honeybee Stamps. If you did take advantage of that sale, yay! Or if you have been eyeing the ink stand like me, love it. And it's magnetized. I did not realize it was magnetized. I thought it was, when I saw people with three of them, I thought they were just three together. I didn't realize I could have one here, one here, one here. Isn't that cute though? Genius. The one with the for the mini inks, that is one strip, but it's only about this long and it has four little things. But super duper cute. Cute, cute, cute. Alrighty, crafters, until the next video. Stay crafty, my friends. Check out Honey Bee, and I will link everything that I talked about below. Alrighty. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.